Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 6 of Ford vs. Chevy. And, uh, obviously in the last episode, if you watched it, of course, we finished up the career mode on the Ford side. But I'm stupid, and I'm going to continue playing. But, I guess I'll show off something real quick. Uh, if you're wondering what happens whenever you finish a game, uh, this is what the Westing can, Westing 10 Cup turns into. Uh, if we go here, it basically, I don't know if it's like a new game plus kind of thing, but it's like, I have my Ford GT that I had, uh, for whatever reason. I have 71,000 points, which is a bad amount of points, but nothing is done. Uh, so I guess I could redo the whole thing if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, because we have to do the Chevy side. And you also probably have noticed by now that, uh, Things are a little bit different uh, with how this looks. I'm going to show off the widescreen mode in this game, and believe it or not, this is the aspect ratio this game runs at. Uh, there is it is not full 16 by 9. So I will show once I actually get into gameplay here. But first off, we have to create a new profile because of course we do. To be able to use the other cars in the game. Like you have to pick this before anything. Even before you type your name, you have to pick Ford or Chevy. It's ridiculous. Anyways, let's pick the Chevy and redo the entire game over again because that's had just how it works. Uh, I guess I'll just call this one Chev. Chev. Sure. No why. And we get the cutscenes, which are actually uh, in widescreen. I will not be playing them again because I'm pretty sure that they're the exact same cutscenes as we got on the Ford side. Yeah, it's it's definitely is. Uh, so if you want to see those, watch the first five episodes, basically. Uh, so we have, of course, our main menu back here. Let's go ahead and start the Westington Cup again. You know, cutscene, of course. Yeah, this is all exactly the same. Although in widescreen uh, and cropped correctly, which is interesting. And we have all of the exact same events, too, which is another wonderful thing. But back to Modern Muscle we go, and it is time to pick our Chevy for the Modern Muscle section of the game. Uh, so, we actually have two options of cars to pick, instead of just one, for whatever reason. Uh, and here's all the Chevys, in case you were curious. We got a Camaro Z28 SS, apparently. I thought it was only SS or Z28. For the fourth gen, but I guess not. And then the C6 Z06, and the Monte Carlo, and then these two. Probably gonna go with the, the Impala just because I think it's interesting. So the 2005 Impala SS will be our first choice of vehicle here on the Chevy side. I want blue, and I want manual. Uh, we will accept this. We have 50 points left to play with. I'm not gonna do anything with those. Uh, again, if you want to see more of the upgrades and like stuff like that, I went through more of that in the Ford section. Um, this is going to be like a speed run because I I didn't want to play through this game once, let alone twice, really. Before I mean, I know I have to. I don't have to, but I'm going to. Uh, anyways, let's just get this shit done. <laughs> and of course, the uh, the loading screens, even though they have black bars on the top and the bottom are still stretched, even more actually, because they're actually stretched in 4x3 mode too. It's... Utechnics sure is a company that makes games. But uh, you'll notice once I load in here that the aspect ratio is pretty much as correct as it's going to get on OBS, or on what you're watching, and it's not full 16x9. I don't understand it at all. But anyways, we have... A different set of uh, gauges and different color. Uh, I think it's just actually different colors. It's orange instead of blue for the heads of display, which is actually pretty neat. But let's go ahead and go. Oh, I forgot to change my settings. At least the audio settings seem to have stayed. So that's good, I guess. Um, but my controls did not save did not transfer over but yeah um, continuing on with the weird selection of cars in this game 
I think this is the only game besides LA Rush that I know of that has this specific car in it. The uh, Monte Carlo SS, or not Monte Carlo, the Impala SS from the early 2000s. Kind of a neat, interesting touch. Neat, interest. Good morning, by the way. I've been awake for like an hour and it is actually physically morning. Uh, it is before noon still. I've been up for a bit now, but I still am waking up. So <laughs> good morning to all of you out there on the YouTubes. No matter what time it is for you. I think the, the voice lines are different on the Chevy side, actually. From Yeah, because, well, I think, I don't know. I, I think they're different is what I'm going to say. I don't want to think too hard about it. I know I'll regret it if I do. But it's time to spend, I guess, another three hours or so playing through this game once again. Because, yeah, it's just silly. That's what I have to say about this game is that it's silly. I do appreciate all you watching this though, uh, even with my complaining and comparing this to other not so great aspects of other games. It's not really a bad game per se, it's just, as I said, it's silly. And uh, I don't find it particularly interesting, but I don't find it particularly bad either, I guess. Especially now that I've actually played through it all the way once. I don't think it's quite as quote unquote bad as I did once. Um, it's more so just really mid, I guess. But yeah, thank you all for watching and liking and all that. Um, no, nah, I would not like to play the event again. I don't know why I thought about that. I need to figure out how many points I need to buy more cars. Let's see. So I have 4,800 points. I could buy the Cav... I always say Cavalier instead of Cobalt. Uh, the Monte Carlo, the Camaro, and the Corvette. I'll probably actually save up for either the Camaro or the Corvette. Because I don't... Th I think I use the Cobalt and the Monte Carlo for these two events. Well, I guess we could see. Uh, collect the lost tires scattered around town. What an interesting thing. Of course, I've already been through this because it's like I said, it's the exact same mission as the Ford side, just with a Chevy now. Oh, we're driving the Camaro, okay. So that means I think the Corvette, Corvette and the Cobalt are the only ones I don't drive, I guess. Rock music. All right, the Camaro. Hey, we got a six-speed, got a manual. I do like the gears being shown on the screen. I think that's a neat touch, just showing how many gears the car has. I don't think I've mentioned that yet, so I'll mention it now. <laughs> don't miss it. I did this on the first try before. I will do it on the first try again. sure is a video game of all time. I almost missed that. I was almost too busy talking. I can't believe all of our tires got scattered in these convenient little pickup things. Oh god, I forgot. This has a weird turn out. Can I go th Oh no, I thought I went through the barrier. Not quite.
And I guess I'll have to remember things too with uh, if I want to try and use more vehicles later on. I have to like gather as many points as possible. I don't know if I will still, because I don't know how easy or hard that'll be, but you know, I can try at least. I think this game would have been a lot more interesting. By the way, ran another random topic, tangent thing. Uh, if there was actual difficulty to this game, instead of just literally being piss easy, um, that would have been cool. Oh god, careful. I may have to change my controller settings mid-episode here. I guess we'll find out. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Two more. We big jump, and we are done. Don't mind me. And there we go. There's that done. Uh, no, I would not like to play the event again. I guess I could buy the Cobalt. Um, we do have a lot of events left, I guess. You know, I'll use the Impala for... Well, you know what? Let's just do this real quick. Let's do the tune-up thing. Drive your car to the, the places to, to, the, to do the thing. To get a tune-up. Get your spark plugs replaced. I was right. We are in the Monte Carlo. I thought so. I'm not changing my settings yet, by the way. I'll do it between episodes, if I remember that that is. All right, let's go. Now this car, I don't know of another game that has a early 2000s Monte Carlo in it, especially an SS. Roast some front tires. Same old four minute, 50 second reference time. Sounds about right. I do appreciate that there's a lot of supercharger supercharger noise on this car. I thought the Impala was also supercharged, but I guess not. Just in general. Damage this thing? Oh uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think the left windows were damaged. Alright. Stay to the left. To the left, to the left. The shop is on the left. <laughs> Look how small the opening is. I like how this is like a really shitty version of Burnout Paradise's like drive through things. I just thought about that. It's kind of kind of similar, almost. All right, next. EM brute force. Shop is on the right this time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that worked well. I still made it. That's what matters. Sport. Sport. What a great name for a shop. Sport. Alright. How many? Do I have to do six? Five? I don't remember. I guess we shall fuck around and find out. Ow. 
Good thing I'm going to a shop. I was wrecking the car on the way there. Fly into here. Never lift. I can't tell what this one's called. I can't see the poster. I almost actually thought about using the Xbox simulator for this section of the game, just because I had to make a new profile anyways. But then I was like, eh, I would prioritize frame rate over using an emulator. Because this game, it runs fine on XEMU, but it's uh, a little slow. The frame rate is very not consistent. I could have upscaled it though. Could have had pretty graphics. Actual HD, but whatever. I think this is actually the last one, this fifth one. I think. I don't remember. Go fast! 160! But we hit 170! Nope. Not quite. Well, maybe. Hold on. 170! Let's go! 171! Oh shit, I missed it. Well, the good news is that this is the last one, and I have a lot of time remaining. At least a decent amount. There's no way it's going to take 30 seconds to do. I was too busy looking at my speed. And... There we go. I have been tuned up. My car has been tuned up. I haven't been. I drink coffee though, so maybe we'll get there someday. I do not want to play this event again. Uh, I think I'm going to use um, the Impala for one more race. Uh, let's do... You know what? Let's do the Sprint. Why not? We'll do... Can I do a thumbnail? Or can I do a replay in this? I don't remember. I was going to get a thumbnail was the reason I was going to use the Impala. But I may be stupid. I guess we'll see. I don't remember if these have replays or not. Also, I really appreciate that they did pretty decently with, like, the lights on most of the cars in this game. Except for this car. That is not correct. Those are the reverse lights. Those are not brake lights nor tail lights. They have one purpose. Actually, they have two purposes because they're uh, reflectors as well. But they are the reverse lights. And I don't even know what happens if you go into reverse in this car in this game. I'm not sure that I'll find out yet because I... I mean, I guess if I get to the finish line with a bunch of time left, I can spin it around and go into, ver go into reverse. I think, I guess, that this game has working reverse lights on any car. I haven't paid enough attention. <laughs> I haven't needed to. hear anything but the drums of the song. Uh, ow, ow, oh, ow. That shit hurted. Uh, this wasn't even on the, uh, the the farther case view. This game also, uh, in widescreen mode, in case you haven't noticed, uh, it definitely crops the image rather than, like, changing the FOV at all. Uh, they performed almost... It wasn't as bad as Ford Racing 3 on widescreen. Um, or, I think even 4x3 even it sucks. But, uh... It's very not good in this game. But I don't know why it's like, I don't know. It, I don't know why it was acting like it was on one camera view on, on the other. I, I don't know. I, I really don't. All right, I think the finish line, is it right up here? 
I don't remember. I guess it's further up. 170 in Impala. Oh, geez. Careful. This might be closer than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to get 20 seconds ahead, maybe. There's the finish line. Yeah, not, not enough time for me to comfortably try the reverse lights. But there we go. God, that Monte Carlo is so stretched, especially for y'all. Alright, let's watch this replay. At least the replays are also in moderately widescreen form. Okay, I think somehow that will work perfectly fine. Let's continue on. All right, so we've done both of those, done that. Um, let's buy a car, I guess. Do I have enough for the Corvette? Uh, how much does it cost again? I do have enough for the Corvette. Um, I guess we could buy the Cobalt first. Yellow Cobalt. We'll buy the Cobalt and then do a race or two and then I guess do the Corvette. Just to say I use them. Because I have the opportunity to do so. Oh, so we have what? Three races left to do? Yeah. I'll use the Corvette for the drag race. Let's do this. Race event. Whew. I was going to have the hiccups there for a second, but I guess not. Alright, let's go. Can I redo this race? Am I stupid? I think I am stupid. This seems very familiar. Yeah, I am stupid. I think, right? I don't know. I'm just going to do this. I think I was stupid. I would have to review the footage. I have to remember that while I'm editing. This does seem different so far. We got the GT again. And we have a Focus. Interestingly enough. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it's very much, this This is definitely different. I am stupid, turns out. It's also reversed, I'm noticing. Oh geez. Car feels so slow. Maybe once I buy the Corvette, I can just fully upgrade it. We'll see. I'll probably do that after this race, just because I want to use the Corvette and maybe fully upgrade it. I don't think there's 1,500 countries. What the fuck? Excuse me? It seems like they have less to say on the Chevy side. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'll take it, I guess, but... They just keep talking. But it's about a whole lot of nothing.
<sighs> Good morning still, by the way. I'm still waking up. Yo! Clean lap! I'm clean. I have been cleansed of my sins. Oh, Jesus. What's unique about the Westington Cup is that drivers face a variety of challenges. There are five categories of racing, so drivers need to adapt quickly to the diverse classes and the unique challenges each bring. That's right, Tom. Thanks, Gary. Anything else you want to add? No, I just thought you'd set it up and it was time I said <laughs> These fucking voice lines are so dumb. <laughs> I hate it here. I am very far ahead, by the way. You know what that means? Uh, hold on. Where are we at? The Westington wins. Sorry, Tom, but I'll have to interrupt you there. Why? Because we're witnessing a faster worker, Tom, and we should do that. Where is the finish line? Is it around this turn? I think it's around this turn. Yeah. That's how you drift on. The reverse lights do work. What the hell? <laughs> well, that's interesting, I guess. There's 1,700 points. Let's go. Camera 5 liter. I would not like to view the replay. I would not like to play the event again. Oh... Ow. Hurt my arm. Uh yeah, I guess I'll uh I'll buy the Corvette and see what kind of upgrades I can do to it. I just wanna make it ridiculous. I only have seven K to play with, I think. Nope. Not even that. Um Ooh, burnt orange. Yes. Maybe I'll wait. I guess I could upgrade some stuff. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just put. Can I put a super? I can't put a supercharger on it. Y end. Yes. Uh. Shock absorbers. Uh. Like. Exhaust. Sure. Why not? Electronics. That is too expensive. Uh, what about air induction? I like that these are alphabetical, by the way. It's kind of interesting. Huh? That's a lot of money for brakes. What about the camshaft? Hey, I can get a camshaft. Alright. I'm just leaving it at this. Alright, what do we got to do? Cross town run and let's do the drag race first. Optimal gear shifts and minimal steering adjustments. What am I racing against? I'm racing against a Cobra R. Interesting. Alright. Let's do this. I'm ready. Jump start? What the hell? I can definitely still win easily. Thank you to all of my upgrades. There's 1700 points, I guess. And there we go, Waldron. Nope, I will not view the replay. And I will not play the event again. I'm just gonna finish this up. I don't feel like trying to upgrade this car more. Let's get this shit over with. Cross town run. Do a sprint. I will press A to continue. Alright, I'm gonna start skipping these. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> Again, speed running, second half of the game. Vague speed run. It may be any percent, but it's still a speed run. Oh my god. Oh god. The 
it's really awkward to try and boost. Oh my god! <laughs> that must be. Oh my god, this car is actually so fast in a straight line. Holy shit. Especially with the boost. Good lord. The fucking rock that Mustang's world. Ow. Oh god. I'm gonna damage this thing out, probably. We'll see. I just can't get over the voice line still. I feel like they've gotten even sillier playing this side of the game. Whee! 201! Go! 225! Oh my lord! I did it. It's a shabby victory. Hell yeah, brother. Alright. There's our first section of the Chevy side done. Woo! Hooray! How exciting! We get our cutscene. You take forge halves. No, what? Oh, it's an off-road racer now. Oh boy! And that always separates the men from the boys. <laughs> I think these are all the same. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to conclude this uh, sixth episode first of the Chevy side. <sighs> what a silly ass game. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.